Hello, hello, uh, welcome to the exciting topic. We're going to be talking about unilateral PAE or PAE done on only one side. Uh, you can find me on the uh, social media and before we start, you're going to do me a favor. Uh, please hit that uh, subscribe button, hit the like, hit the bell notification to stay current of my uh, new uploads and uh, don't hesitate to leave a comment. Okay, so today we're going to be looking at the uh, effect of uh, PAE or prostate artery embolization on only one side of the prostate and um, we will see the effect and we can compare it to the um, other side of the prostate that was not treated. So um, quickly, this is a um, view of an angiography uh, during a PAE. So the prostate artery embolization was uh, done in this patient because he had issues with uh, urination. He was completely uh, in total urinary retention uh, for many months where they had to place this uh, Foley catheter that we see here. And um, given his advanced age uh, and the fact that he could not tolerate surgery, uh, the PAE procedure was uh, then uh, given as an option. Uh, it was performed uneventfully. There's no issues at all. We were able to navigate the catheter all the way down to the left prostatic artery. So here we see the left lobe of the prostate. This is in the middle. There's the Foley and the ureter of the patient. The right lobe is non-enhanced here. On the right hand side, we see the uh, MRI of this patient. And I apologize, it's not a good quality MRI, but we can see the, again, the prostatic gland. Uh, there is causing a and pushing the um, base of the bladder this is due to the hypertrophy of the median lobe of the prostate that cause issues in men <laughs> above it we can see the decompressed and totally decompressed uh, bladder because there is no urine at all we see the retention balloon of the foley here and the foley catheter in the middle so this is how the prostate artery looks to us during the embolization. And uh, this is what we call the cone beam CT or the images that we take uh, during the or just before the embolization to confirm that we are indeed in the prostate gland. So this is a frontal view, just like as we are looking at the patient here on the MRI. So corresponding view during the PAE procedure. What we see here in white is simply the um, left lobe of the prostate that is enhancing. Uh, the tip of the microcatheter is here, so that means that we were able to navigate and get as close as possible to the prostate uh, with our microcatheters and micro eyes. This is the microcatheter in the artery. The right lobe of the prostate is not enhancing, it does not take the dye because it it is fed by a different artery, the right prostatic artery that we don't see here. You can see here in this case, these arteries don't communicate. The left lobe is totally independent from the right lobe. So what happened here in this patient is we were only able to treat one lobe of the prostate, the left lobe that we see here, is because he had no visible arteries due to advanced atherosclerosis on the right side. And we will see if treating only one lobe is enough and uh, what is the effect of prostate artery embolization and we're going to compare the images and we take here some measurement of that lobe of the prostate before and after the PA procedure a few months later so we can compare the effect of these micro particles that are going to enter the, this uh, lobe and we compare it to the other uh, lobe of the prostate that was not treated. Okay, so this is a um, an MRI frontal view, exactly the same view as we uh, saw and presented uh, in the beginning of the video of a um, prostate MRI. This is the prostate gland after the PA, a few months after the PA. So what really happened? So just to remind you, we were only able to treat the left lobe of the prostate. This is what's left of the left lobe of the prostate. Uh, what we see here is what we call in medical term an atrophy. Atrophy meaning uh, in layman terms means sh basically shrinkage, uh, smaller volume, smaller size. 
that's what atrophy means um, look at the right lobe of the prostate uh, we were not able to treat the right lobe simply because there was no visible arteries allowing us to de deliver safely the particles uh, it remained unchanged so essentially these uh, two lobes were approximately the same size maybe the left was a little bit bigger and they were pressing all together against the urethra so the urethra here as you see is full of uh, urine the urine appears in white so there's a conduit that opened up and uh, making the urine inside the bladder that we see here this is the bladder you can see the uh, the protrusion what we call the protrusion of the medial lobe of the prostate pushing the base of the bladder uh, this would cause issues uh, and prevent men from urinating when they get into retention uh, this is the bladder so now what happened look at the opening simply because when the atrophy appeared and happened on the slope of the prostate because of the uh, deprived it from his nutrition from his blood from his oxygen it shrunk simply shrunk so the artery will reopen uh, we don't occlude permanently the artery uh, instead we send some particles inside the tissue of the prostate that will uh, make it shrink but the artery itself will remain uh, patent and to, and and as such the the prostate gland doesn't die so what happened to this patient after the PA procedure after the PA procedure who was able to urinate um, the first week uh, um, so the ability and the fact that this happened so early because it takes time for the prostate to shrink um, we hypothesize that there is due to the uh, change in consistency of the prostate the softening of the prostate in other words so that allow men which is good is good news allow men to uh, get rid of the urinary foley early uh, in some studies as early as day one after the procedure or day three in our practice we remove them after a week uh, so he doesn't need any anymore he's able to remind that this is a patient this is an older gentleman almost a nonagenarian gentleman with multiple comorbidities and issues that is unable to sustain a surgery if we're able to do it in a patient that complicated older multiple comorbidities super sick it is of course easier in a healthier younger gentleman with better arteries someone in his 50s would be a great candidate again and a reminder this is a procedure that does not have side effects uh, on the erection and on the uh, there's no retrograde ejaculation with this procedure basically so that makes it very um, appealing to men who don't want those uh, sexual side effects uh, it is done through a small pinhole in the wrist and a local anesthesia so again for those people who are unable or are not candidate for big surgeries or general anesthesia this is really a perfect procedure so we can see here the really the the effect uh, as we keep this side of the lobe as a um, as a control uh, just like when we do uh, controlled studies this is the control the control was not treated the lobe that was treated has shrunk if we measure it here uh, I would say just by eyeballing it is probably it shrunk by more than 50% yes it's uh, it shrunk by more than 50% so the shrinkage and uh, allowed a nice opening if we treat both lobes, is it better of course yes it's better the results are more durable more sustainable uh, can we uh, obtain good result with only one lobe treated yes definitely again every case is different uh, how sustainable it's probably less than if you treat both lobes but again it's not ideal the ideal is to treat both here we were able to obtain uh, patient satisfaction and clinical satisfaction by treating only one lobe of the prostate um, you can see here the clear evidence that this procedure works um, and uh, works consistently predictably it is safe um, and uh, can be applied in a wide range of scenarios from urinary retention from urinary bleeding and from uh, lower urinary tract symptoms caused by uh, prostate enlargement in men and uh, it's well tolerated without all the risks uh, you know that may uh, scare some patients from seeking medical attention unfortunately uh, some patients really are uh, anxious about uh, side effects and they 
uh, only seek medical treatment until the prostate has impacted the, their kidneys or their bladder or causing some serious infection. I hope this uh, was informative. Uh, please leave me a comment, a question if you have any. Please uh, don't hesitate to join our private Facebook community where there's a lot of men who have a gold mine of information. They are interested by the PAE procedure. We discuss a lot of things over there. Um, please uh, don't forget to encourage the channel. Hit the like button and subscribe. And uh, uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you. Thank you.